Ian, it's been an incredible day. Um, you were down at court this morning. What were the emotions like down there? Well, it was a day of mixed emotions, as you can imagine. Um, we arrived early this morning with the families um, and a lot of anxiety initially, I think, you know, based on the outcomes in previous processes um, around Hillsborough, there had been a lot of disappointment. And I think, you know, the, the feeling in the air was very much that they weren't, they weren't expecting much. And, and then um, once the court convened, that quickly turned to joy. Um, you know, in particular, when we got to questions six and seven, there was big cheers and a lot of emotion, and that that you know settled down a little. And then, once we got through that, I think there was an element of shock more than anything. We we um, all left the the court areas and went into a sort of holding area, and and people were just genuinely, obviously happy, and, and but but almost couldn't believe it. And um, you know, it's been a long time coming, and and I think the emotions took their toll. But um, but a great great outcome for them. How would you describe the efforts and endeavour, I guess, of the families of the 96 and the survivors up until this point? Well, I think that's the most important thing. You know, when we think about, you know, we're, we're a football club, Liverpool football club, and often, you know, you hear people talk about players, managers, idolise them, think of them as heroes. You know, we talk about the team and the club and our desire to win things and our desire to fight and you know you go to the match and you you always say you want the players to try their best and put the most they can put in but you know to be as we have been for many years in and around these families and the survivors you know they're the real heroes they're the people that have put all this time in all this effort in um, that have fought and fought uh, for the right outcome and you know it, it, as anybody anywhere in the world do ever looks for inspiration. You can't look any further than these people because, say, the families and the survivors have done an incredible job. What is the club's reaction to today's conclusions? Well, you know, the club's, um, the club's position, really, throughout um, the 27 years has always remained the same, which is, you know, it was important to us that we've always stood behind the families and the survivors. It wasn't about being out front. It wasn't about the club. It was about our f those families, those victims, those survivors, and we've always stood behind them. And so we continue to do that. You know, it doesn't finish today. They still have things to deal with, and we'll always be there for them. And you know, I think from the club's perspective, it's just right, proper, and 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 finally, at last, you know, decided that um, that our fans weren't to blame. Um, and that you know everybody got the justice they were looking for. You've been a fan all your life. You've lived and worked in the city. You worked closely with many of the families and the survivors. What does today say about this great city? Yeah, I think um, it's interesting being around the families at the point of the decisions today because you know anyone who's from this city or anyone who's been to this city knows that. You know, we talk about the football club being the world's greatest football family, but um, this city, you know, if you if you try to take on the, the mums and dads of this city, the brothers and sisters of this city, then you're picking a really bad fight that you're almost always going to lose, and that was definitely the case here. Um, there's no city like this on the planet that people come together and unite uh, for a common cause and we look after each other. Um, and that was the case here, and, and as is, you know, right and proper, we won. Um, you know, I don't know whether that would happen anywhere else, so, so well done to everybody.